I'm in the motherfucking Norway. Merry Christmas, Panie Tapanova! This is Ukrainian Spirit and today is 25th of December and we are currently in the northern Norway, Lofoten Islands. It's almost the Arctic Circle, so it's a very northern part of Norway, northern part of the world. But it's quite warm here actually, because of the Gulf Stream. Uh, coast line of Norway doesn't get too cold. And lucky for me, I have this uh, great Norwegian sweater, so I have still my traditional Vishavanka underneath, but I have got some regional specialty just for you. And it keeps me warm. So today's drink is actually a special one. I have to say sorry to all of you beautiful producers of best Ukrainian drinks I have reviewed so far, but this is the one I actually got to Norway. It's not the only one I wanted to go to take with me, but the one I got, sorry. But this one is a beautiful, beautiful box with beautiful drinks inside, I'm sure of it. It's called Voje Vodka. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a wordplay here because Vojevoda in uh, Polish and in Russian is the person who was in charge of army, kind of general in the old times. And of course, vodka is a drink <laughs> that Russians and Polish uh, really like. It's called vodka in Russian and Polish, and it's called horilka in Ukrainian. So vodka is some kind of general's vodka, <laughs> you can say. And it's an interesting story of this guy who produces these uh, drinks. But let me first open it up and pour me some, because it's still quite <laughs> cold in here. So the beautiful the beautiful beautiful box i'm open it like this and yeah all of the drinks on the display what do we got here so we have three uh, citrus so so i'm gonna have mandarin orange lime <laughs> lemon it's this one we also have some kind of egg, egg liquor. So, Advocat from Netherlands. Some sort of, uh, it's smoked pear. Oh, wow. I'm really looking forward to it. We also have cassis or black currant, as you know. We have reviewed those quite often on this channel. And my favorite, the sour cherry one. <laughs> so, what should we start with? I'm feeling pretty cold, and you know, when people get in cold, they also get cold as a sickness. And then to cure cold, you're supposed to enjoy lots of vitamin C. So, three citrus here <laughs> is gonna be my medicine. Okay, so the guy who created this brand. Uh, Vojvodka. Uh, he is actually from Russia. His name is Anton Petrov and he was a Russian journalist, uh, chief editor in various uh, magazines, uh, some newspapers in Russia and he also had a blog. It was called, it was called uh, Vojvoda, so the general. And uh, the blog was about uh, home brew and uh, home making alcohol it was a really popular blog and uh, one time they laughed with uh, his friend said oh yeah you're a voyevoda who makes vodka so you should have voyevodka and he remembered it and actually later turned out into an actual uh, brand name so my glass it also got to Norway with me with the bullet one it's the gun and fun uh, glass makery in Kiev also. So this Anton Petrov, he's moved to Kiev uh, with his wife and he established a brand Vojvodka. It was in 2014, so I can only guess why he decided to move to Ukraine from Russia during those times when the war in Crimea began and later uh, war in Donbass, or annexation, annexation of Crimea and war in Donbass. So maybe it had something to do with that. As of now, Anton Petrov is a 
uh, really nice guy. Uh, he tries to do everything like Ukrainian, not like Russian, because you know, we Ukrainians, we have some mixed feelings towards Russians, but uh, I can't say anything bad about this brand and about this person. He seems to be really nice and really passionate about what he is doing. Uh, so for Polish people, this uh, Wojewódka thing also makes sense because in Polish it would be Wojewódka, because in Polish Wojewoda is also a general. But for Ukrainians, not too much sense in this because, yeah, but we understand it, of course. This weather and these conditions I'm currently in are literally the worst <laughs> I could be doing for tasting because it's cold, it's also quite humid. Uh, I have a little bit of cold myself. And yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna taste and smell a lot, but <laughs> we will see. So, without further ado, Merry Christmas to all of you and cheers! Budma! Oh, it's like Hluvain. So, you know, the, uh, in Norwegian it's also called Glug. So, it's a drink, uh, mulled wine in English. It's a drink, <laughs> a drink uh, traditionally during the Christmas. So, <laughs> it fits perfectly. So, it's a cinnamon, it's lemon, it's uh, apple sin or orange zest. It's cloves. It's everything you kind of traditionally associate with a nice glue, glue vine. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful drink. So it's made with uh, vodka, with the uh, infusion of all of those uh, spices and aromas and fruits. So actually it fits really well. I made a great choice. Mmm. Oh my god, it is what I hoped it to be, <laughs> and even better. So, it's uh, it has this uh, spirit kick initially, it's not too hard, it's only 36% alcohol by volume, but still it kind of bites, even though it's quite cold, because right now we have something around plus 3 outside, so I'm drinking this cold which may be uh, a good thing, because it lowers the perception of alcohol. But it also means that all of the spices and all of the aromas, they are slightly toned down, but they are so intense in here. Uh, immediately lots of cloves, um, some orange uh, or maybe, yeah, I think it's orange zest, maybe lemon zest, so it's bitter and aromatic and spicy. I really want it to be hot because usually when I enjoy uh, this profile of flavors it's usually hot because it's somewhere in uh, Munich on a Christmas market. But no, here it's uh, in Norwegian coldness uh, but it makes me really warm inside. It bites a little bit and spices and alcohol join together and they make this really interesting, uh, really, really spicy, hot feeling, but it's not hot, so it's somewhat interesting. And I really think uh, to enjoy it to, to its most, to its best, you uh, probably should pour it in a cup of hot tea, and then all of the aromas will be completely exposed, but they will also be slightly diluted by the tea by water, so you will not be overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Sorry, it's a cold. It's cold to talk outside. Um, so, what I think about this? I think it's perfect winter drink, and uh, there is nothing wrong about it uh, drinking straight. But I think you can enjoy it the best when you pour it in tea, maybe even in coffee, maybe in wine, maybe in some kind of juice. But I really want to try it in warm version and I'll do it later and maybe I'll even show it to you. On the second try 
I feel much more lemon juice in it. So it's not only bitter and spicy and it really bites my tongue, but also it's uh, sour and sour, definitely lemon kind of sourness. So like uh, it has a really good portion of lemon juice inside. But those spices, <laughs> it's just Christmas. Well, it is Christmas, right? <laughs> So cheers to you guys and to the next one. Huh? Yeah. Nah. So I'm going to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah. I'm going to go to the А де водичка? В машині? Водичка? Ти набрала водичку? Що? Буде вже по Ти ж там на фоні неба просто сяєш. Конечно, ты стояла на фоне белого неба. Ну, у меня есть периферийный зир еще. Ти в какашкася? Ого. Що там за подарунки? Какашка? А зняться какашка? Ти мені подаруєш зняться какашка? Ні. Ні, не хочу. И я тёк. Сюрчин. Look guys, what we have found. It's a fucking sea urchin. Без <laughs> факин. Look guys what we have found. It's a sea urchin. It it was eaten by someone, not me. Although I would really want to try a sea urchin, never tried it. But yeah, look at this. It's frozen. Put it inside. It's kinda crumbles apart. Really nice thing. So these those guys are leaving leaving here. To the next one. Будеш шуршати там? Кашля тебе. Іди в машину погрійся. Дивись, що би стріляли. Телефон. Нахуй, дитина, то дитину собі даю, яка тебе водить, так? Да. <laughs> так, все, я далі продовжую. Merry Christmas, пані та панове! This is the second installment in our Christmas series in Lofoten Islands in the Norway, in the very, very north of the globe. So, we continue our Voivodka drinks and I told everything about the guy who makes them somewhere here on top and you'll find this first video in this series But today's one is a second one installment 
and I'm still freezing. We're actually recording it one by one. So <laughs> this one is smoked pear and I'm really looking forward to enjoy it right now. Це якщо я вирішу робити по одному, а якщо я вирішу робити все разом, то я зараз запишу інше інтро. А? Хеторія? Ну ти що ж да. Але може не так важливо. Ні, ну це далеко я. Ні, я кожен, ти, мабуть, не буде чутно, як ти шуршиш. А може і буде. Подивимось. Merry Christmas, пані та панове! And we continue our Voyevodka series, Northern series drinks. And today, or right now, we have smoked pear. So I have rinsed my glass on those waters, although I think you can actually drink from them. No, it's a sea. You probably shouldn't. Yeah, but we have smoked pear. So first one, as you probably remember, because for you it was just a couple of minutes ago, uh, first one was almost like mulled wine or Glühwein from a German Christmas market. This one is smoked pear. It's um, kind of what we do a lot in Ukraine. So we have uh, this drink that's called Uzvar and the Russians call it Kompot and the Norwegians call Kompot something and Germans I think something entirely different. So basically it's when you have smoked and dried fruits. Usually it's apple, pear, uh, I'm not sure, usually it's apple and pear, yeah. And you uh, dry them, sometimes you smoke them, and then you rehydrate them later in hot water during the winter season. So you can enjoy vitamins and sweetness of uh, summer fruits during the winter. So it's really a traditional Ukrainian thing to do. It's called uzvar. Uh, so smoked pear is essential part of it and smoked uh, plum actually as well. Um, so I expect it to uh, taste a little bit like uzvar. <laughs> we'll find out, maybe not, maybe not. But it sounds intriguing, right? So immediately, by viscosity of this drink, I can tell it's slightly sweeter than the previous one. And what do we know about this one? What they they say? Uh, by the way, they say it's Ukrainska domashnya nastoyanka, so Ukrainian homemade infusion. Uh, it's uh, tasty and good for you. <laughs> It's 200 milliliters, it's 36%, it has no chemical additives, and it consists of uh, alcohol, spirit, water, fruits, or roots. Hmm. And it's a uh, smoked pear or kopchena hrusha in Ukrainian. Okay, immediately to the tasting because it's still freaking cold outside. Yeah, uh, it's smoked pear. What do you want from me? <sighs> smoked pear is, is amazing because it has a lot of this uh, wood smoke aroma. When you smoke it, almost like meat. So uh, you can think of it as a smoked meat with uh, fruit puree on the side, usually with apple, you know, smoked bacon or smoked pork with apple puree on a side and if you combine them together it's what you essentially taste them. This one, wow, this smoke aroma is quite strong even this cold uh, climate I can smell it like good uh, 20 centimeters away from a glass. So it reminds a little bit of um, of Isla whiskey maybe because I'm also smelling some kind of saltness from the sea nearby and it's a little bit cold so combination of this faint smoke aroma and salt uh, uh, salt air sea air <laughs> creates this interesting uh, sensation of isla whiskey it's it's what i'm used to i i really enjoy isla whiskey and actually uh, the whole reason why i started this channel because i really like isla whiskey and i really like the reviews of those whiskies but i saw that no one doing anything similar 
to Ukrainian dreams, which in my humble opinion deserve as much attention as Isla Whiskey. Of course, you know, Isla Whiskey is a paramount, we all strive to, <laughs> some of them especially, but yeah, there are lots of good other drinks in the world and it's a pleasure to be able to drink them and share them with other people. Uh, I got romantic in this, you know, scenery, those mountains and snow and sea. <laughs> yeah, I should drink. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it is Uzvar, basically, but alcoholic one, the best one. Now I like it because I've become older and I'm enjoying all those funky flavors. And this one delivers <laughs> all of this funkiness, like in a small contained batch. Every sip of this drink fills you with uh, ashy, burnt, uh, woody flavor, with sweetness and with fruitness aroma, because it's still, it's not burnt, it's smoked pear. So you get a lot of this uh, pear fruitiness. Uh, I really, really enjoy this one, and I really think that this one could also make a really good uh, pairing with tea, or maybe just warm it up a little bit, uh, diluted with some water, or maybe some wine, some simple red wine, and you'll get most of it, because in its um, condensed form as the alcohol, it might be, it, it's really good, and it's really good to only have it in your hip flask, for example, on the hike, on one of those mountains. I'm pretty sure it would be amazing and I'll do this tomorrow <laughs> actually. But uh, if you're drinking at home it might be too much because when, when it's warm it will be even more pronounced and even more extreme. So this has been Ukrainian Spirit and I'll see you next time because we have three more to go and I have some at home. <laughs> hey guys! We actually remember I was talking about putting uh, three citruses in a tea. That's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. We stopped at the gas station. It's called Who or X Y. <laughs> I'm sure my Ukrainian watchers will find it interesting. Or Uch Y X. I don't know, but. What's important, they sell tea. And I'm gonna put some tea, or some three citruses in my tea. And yes, yes, that is it. Immediately, Christmas market in Poland, or center of Kiev, or München, or maybe Prague. Yeah. It smells like Christmas, it smells of cloves, it smells of citruses, it smells of sweet and warm comfort. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's gotten a bit bitter. I think um, you should put it in some kind of sweet tea to really enjoy it because the uh, tannins and tea flavor mixed with uh, citrus bitterness makes for even more bitter experience so yeah I need to put some sugar in it but otherwise it's perfect and it really warms me up from inside I got quite cold out there in not on the seashore well it's also a seashore here some boats or ferries actually take a look at this yeah that's quite cool. Well, cheers and I'll see you next time. This is a quick follow-up. As I said, it needs to be tried at home in the warmth and comfort of the building. So this one is a three citruses. And yeah, it opens up a little bit more. The aromas of cloves are toned down a little bit, and there is more um, orange presence. 
maybe even some citrus uh, sourness comes through a little bit more. Uh, when we were outside, I had much more of cloves, of spices, but not much in terms of um, aromas of the actual citrus. Hmm. Yeah, the taste also is a bit more balanced. It's not as uh, bitter as I remember it outside. It's uh, not as sour as well, so it's really, really balanced out. So yeah, the temperature of when you drink and what you drink really makes a lot of difference. So cheers to you guys. And this is a follow-up of drinking smoked pear in the warmth of the house. Yeah, it's much more smoky in a way. It smells, no, it smells even more like a smoked plum, which is a really, really common thing in Ukraine. We put it in meats, uh, we put it in juices, in desserts even. And it, the smell of it is more like a smoked plum rather than smoked pear, which is interesting. But let's find out if it, it makes a lot of difference in the taste. Hmm. Hmm. It's funny, uh, but now it it's even more like uzvar, even more like something you'll just drink as a non-alcoholic drink. Well, yeah. Now, now I have a little bit of alcohol, but it's really sweet, really fruity. You know, comforting. Really nice thing, actually. So, yeah. That's how it tastes in the warmth of your heart.